is happening everybody welcome back to the red wonders channel it's playoff for the conference league qualifiers it's Clinville versus Coleraine and then Glenthorne versus Glenavon and I'm gonna predict the whole tournament I mean it is only what three games but anyway let's get into the first game into the first game it's Glens versus Glenavon at the Oval this is a big big game Glenavon obviously getting seventh crucial spot unbelievable on the split may I just say oh my goodness they're on top on form I don't think they lost the game they drew to Porter down the last day of the season but there's not much to play for in that game but the Glens on the other hand I apologize the Glen Torn fans, after my predictions video, which I'm going to react to soon, I slated the Glens. I thought they were going to come fifth. Glens got 10 points out of a possible 15 in the split. That's unbelievable. But they're in the playoffs now. They've got, even if the other team, whoever gets to the final, they've got home advantage, I think, anyway. But this is a really tough one to predict. But the Glens at the minute just look different class. That last minute. <coughs> That last minute uh, equaliser against Linfield was a big, big point in the race for third. But they just looked like if they had got a few more points during the season, if they didn't go on that awful run, do you never know? They could have got second, they could have won the league, you never know. But it's all ifs and buts. Now, this game I think is really hard to predict. But I really don't know. I'm going to go for a 2 1 extra time. Glenn Torn, I think. Just edge it, just edge it. I think their best player in the split's been quite obviously. Oh, it's not actually obvious. I was say it's obviously junior, but I go Terry Davlin. Unbelievable. He's going to get a big move in the summer. Good for the Glens fans as well. Loves Glen Thorn, but well, he go to a club in England. But I'm going to go for a two-one yet, and I think Fitzpatrick will score his last goal for Glen Avon. He's definitely going to be a big six team. The other goal for the Glens, it's a tough one. I'm going to go for Junior and Terry Davlin. Big, big game at the Oval. I think it's on Wednesday night. But let's get into the big game on or the other big game at Solitude. This is a huge game in the qualifiers. It's two teams in the top six of the Irish League split. Or just the Irish League, to be honest. But both haven't had great seasons. Coleraine got to that cup final. But Cliftonville have not... They just not clicked to be honest. Shocking. It actually is shocking to be honest how we've got to the stage. I thought we were gonna finish third. But we had a horrible split, like two points out of fifteen. What on earth were we thinking? Guard side and nets. I don't wanna blame it all on him, like, but that cruise game, what is he doing? You're gonna hear in my voice, what is he doing? But to be fair, with that also came a few good games like the cruise game, Joe's an unbelievable goal. But that Limfield game, we've lost a crucial part in this team. We've lost to Roy Hill for the playoffs after this tackle. Shocking challenge to be honest. But to be honest, I actually like the tackle on the day because Matthew Clark has been an absolute chew and just giving Roy stick. Roy Hill stick all the time. But Coleraine on the other hand, beating Lauren on the last day. To fair Lauren did put out a B team. But they drew to each with us. Roland Hill scored two. Lovely. Uh, but I think this is gonna be a two one win to Coleraine. Honestly do. Seventh time playing them seventh time playing them this season. That is mental to think about. They've just I hate playing Coleraine to be honest. At solitude though, it's a big advantage. If there's a sellout, it could be vital. Oh, two on, I think goals will come from Shevlin and Glacken. And I think we'll score last minute. Too warmly. <laughs> Honestly, that Linfield game has just game, lost me all hope. I have no energy going into the game at all. I've been saying to people all day, we're going to get beat, we're going to get beat. But if we win, it could be huge. I'd love to win. Vlog out on Thursday. Oh, tomorrow. It's going to be a great vlog. Watching us get beat. But anyway, that means Cold Rain are through. And let's get into Glenthorne versus Cold Rain. Why did it take so long to think about that?
into the last game. Now obviously this is only a prediction, but like my prediction. But if it does go to Clemwell Glen Torn or Clemwell Glen Oven or Colder England Oven, I'll do a whole separate video for it. A nice wee short even if it gets to it. But this is my prediction. I'm gonna go for a 2 1 win to Glen Torn and I think it's gonna come in extra time. And I also meant to say for the Reds game, I think they're gonna I think they're going to win an extra time as well. The Glens game, cold rain, 2-1. I think goals will come from Glacken, but I think Junior will come up with two for the Glens. Just look too good at the minute, to be honest. The win at Seaview gave me huge confidence in the Glens to win this. Not, team, not many teams win at Seaview, but I can't believe I'm not saying Clint well this. I just don't think they'll win. I've got no hope at all. No Rory Hill. No manager. Obviously I trust in Daki O'Hara, but need to get a manager in. Big summer needed for the Reds. But anyway, congratulations to Glen Torn for my prediction. But even if anybody, if it either is Klimble or Coldrain, I still think the Glens will win it. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Cheers for watching, like and subscribe. Make sure to check that vlog out tomorrow. And I'll see you later.